to my channel. My name's Ivy. I do hope you're all continuing to stay well and stay safe. So on my channel here, I do health, well-being and everything in between. So if you like the sound of that, then please subscribe, like, share, comment, even give a thumbs up. If you see me looking down, it's just because I've got some notes and hopefully I don't want to miss anything out. So I'm just going to give you a synopsis of what Good Girls is about. So it says it's three suburban, sorry, <coughs> three suburban moms orchestrate a local grocery store heist to escape financial ruin and establish independence for themselves. So, yeah, it's about these three women, two of them are sisters, but they've all been friends from when they were kids. And so the first woman is played by an actress called Christina Hendricks. I don't know if you know who she is. I do think she was in something called Mad Men, although I've not seen Mad Men. But yeah, so Christina Hendricks, she plays Elizabeth and she's married to Dean. And the actor that played Dean, I think he also played Shaggy in the Scooby-Doo movies. So just a little tidbit there for you. Yeah, so they're, they're married. They have four kids, you know, living in suburbia. And Dean owns a car dealership. Uh, that was passed down from his dad, so, yeah. And um, on the outside, all seems well. So that's a little bit about the character Elizabeth. Then there's Annie. Annie is Elizabeth's sister. She's divorced. Um, she also, and she's a bit in love with her ex-husband, you know, and there's a bit of dalliance there, which there shouldn't be because he's married and, um, you know, they are expecting a baby. So there's that. Annie also has a daughter. Well, yeah, Annie has a daughter, Sadie. But in the show, um, they are exploring Sadie's gender identity. And Sadie wants to be a boy. So throughout the show, the series, you'll, they will, you know, like if someone says to her, oh, what's your kid's name? And you will say Sadie. But then she'll refer to Sadie as he, him, not she, her. So, um, yeah. And also the, the actor that plays Sadie is actually trans. Yeah, and in series three, because there's three series, and as you go further in series three, they stop referring to Sadie as Sadie and refer to, start calling that character Ben. So it might sound a little bit confusing the way I'm saying it, but it, when you watch it, I don't think it will be as confusing. So, <laughs> so yeah, that, that's Annie. And Annie works at the store that these three women decide to rob. So that's a little bit about Annie. And then the third woman is Ruby. And Ruby is married to Stan. And their relationship is probably the most solid of all their marriage. You know, they're, they're avid churchgoers. And uh, Ruby... And Stan, they have two kids, a boy and a girl. And Ruby's daughter suffers with kidney disease. So she needs a life-saving kidney transplant. Um, yeah. And Stan is a mall cop who actually turns into, who becomes a real cop. So all these three women have things in their lives where they need a whole hell of a lot of cash and so, basically, what it's about, they do rob this store. And unbeknownst to them, the store is like a money laundering. They money launder. They launder money. They don't money launder. They launder money there. Yeah? And they rob the store. These women rob the store. 
consequently robbing from the bad man. And you'll get to know about the bad man. He's called Rio. And so they, in effect, they've robbed him. So obviously he wants his money back. And so they get in bed with him. And literally it's what they get themselves in one situation after another, after another. And just when you think, yes, they've got themselves out of that, then they just go right back in and it's like, oh, really, really? Um, now, Rio, he's very nice looking, you know, he's, he's nice, he's all right on the eyes. But yeah, um, he is a bad man. And... Um, Sometimes some of the things he does, it's like, oh, okay. And then I'm thinking to myself, yeah, but he can't be all that bad. And then he does something and I'm like, okay, yes, yes. He a bad man, bad man. And Elizabeth's character, she gets more embroiled with them, should I say, than the other two. Um, and it's, it's really well written. The characters are, are just, you will love the characters and you will each have, you know, you'll have sympathy for each character because, um, you know, their situations aren't that far-fetched. Elizabeth um, does end up getting a bit too close with Rio. And when I say close, I mean close, close. So, yeah, and I just think, oh, Again, really, what's wrong with you? You know, aren't you in enough situations? But, and then as you get to series three or season three, because there are three seasons, and as you get into season, well, ending of season two, getting into season three, she does something to Rio, which he's not happy about. And then you know that he's definitely out for her blood. He wants done with her. But then she manages to give herself a little bit of time, but only a little bit. So, yeah, like I say, it's they do one thing to get themselves out of a situation, which just keeps putting them into situation after situation after situation. And it is like a comedy television drama. So, you know, even though it sounds like it's on the edge of your seat stuff, there are some, a few funny bits in it. Um, and yeah, the chemistry between these women is amazing and it's, it's good writing, good storylines, uh, you know, pre pandemic, this would have been one of those things to watch, get your girlfriends round, bottle of wine and just sit there and just, you'd just be like, oh, what the hell all the time. But I thoroughly enjoy it. I love it. I think there is going to be a season four, but Good Girls is one to watch out for. The actresses' performances are really good, really good. It, it, you will enjoy it. Um, you know, because for me, sometimes I'll watch a first season of something, really get into it, and then that season will finish, and then I'll forget about it, and then I'll go on to something else. But this, I found, was really easy to get into or to get back into. You know, sometimes you try and get back into something and you're lost and you're like, oh, what? But this, even though it had been a while since I watched the first season, I just easily got back into season two, easily got back into season three. And season three is like, whoa. So check it out. Good girls. Um, I hope there's nothing else that I've forgotten. If there is, then check it out for yourselves. This has been my second Netflix review. And like I say, it, you know, I love doing these. So please, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, you know, and you want to check out Good Girls, go ahead. It's very good. And please subscribe, 
press the little bell icon so you know when I do upload. Like, share to all your other social media, comment. I love a comment. And um, yeah, get ready for my third Netflix review. Um, so continue to stay safe. Yeah. And um, be well. And I'll see you for the next Netflix review. Let's keep smashing this life. <laughs>